Now at five, thousands of former Excellus employees are upset over a new policy. When we first hired there, they had an agreement with us that uh, when we retired, we would get a life insurance policy as a retiree. Now that Harris has taken over, their life insurance has disappeared. Good evening. Canceling the policy not only impacts the former employees of the Fort Wayne location, but also more than 6,000 retirees across the country. The News Channel 15, Sarah Wagner has more on the efforts to bring back the benefit in tonight's top story. This plan has changed ownership over the years, but those transitions didn't impact retirees' benefits until now. A former employee says canceling the benefit discredits years of hard work and dedication from so many. Harris just bought Excellus last summer, but many of the affected retirees got their paycheck from ITT. Excellus took over that company back in 2011. For more than two decades, Jeff Delucine worked as an engineer for ITT. 25 years and seven months. Harris sent this letter to thousands of retirees like Delucine in November. It was the first they heard of the benefit cancellation, which takes effect February 15th. Well, that didn't give us a whole lot of time to go and research and, and try to find an alternative. While the policy terms stated it could be canceled any time, Delucine doesn't think it's very ethical. You're given a promise that they have broken. They tell you at the time that you're working that you're an asset to the company, and now you become a liability, and they want to get rid of the liability because of costs. Many of these retirees are veterans, and Delucine says this is mainly a disservice to them. I think they deserve this policy because of the contribution they made as service to the country and to the company. Delucine isn't alone in his concerns. A group called the Concerned ITT Retirees, or CITAR, is trying to convince Harris to bring the benefit back. Here they've had this benefit for many years and been counting on having it available for their families when they die, and suddenly it disappears. Harris says it had to cut the policy in order to fund other benefits for retirees. The actions that we're taking here are designed to help ensure the long-term viability of the other underfunded retiree benefits plans, which includes medical and pension. SITAR is also reaching out to top officials like Secretary of Defense Ashton Carter, as well as the Departments of Justice and Labor to try and get the benefits back. Reporting in Fort Wayne, Sarah Wagner, News Channel 15.